Hi everybody, my name's Jamie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are back in Destiny. Hello, freaking you. Uh, <laughs> that's not a word. Um, it's a weapon review, as the video name must suggest. It's the Hake Test A Auto Rifle. Uh, check this beast out. So it's uh, just like the other Hake guns. It's got focused fire. When zoomed, this weapon fires slower, but causes additional damage. And uh, additional damage when zoomed. Nice. Sorry, I just realized what I said. Um, agile post improves weapon handling and kinetic damage. So it's, I mean, let's, let's look at it. Rate of fire is obviously fantastic. It's an auto rifle. Impact's atrocious. Range is pretty abysmal. Stability, not great. I'm going to be firing into the sky a lot with this gun. And uh, the reload, mm, it, it leaves a lot to be desired. And the clip is pretty crap. 18 shots for an auto rifle. Just to give you an idea. Uh, well, I mean, this pulse rifle has, what... 21 and then do I have another auto rifle here all right these are exotic so that's 30 that's 27 um, that's 27 that's only legendary um, that's 24 that's rare you know um, yeah like it's it's pretty weird that it's so bad and you have to what do you have to do you get to cabal to gather uh, data and get oh we're about to jump into the match to, to uh, finish it and get a reputation so um, Let's go into this with an open mind. Never used this gun before. So let's give it a chance. Alright, Twilight Gap. This map's pretty good. Pretty good for uh for generally everything. You know, it's got distance, it's got close range combat encounters. Clash. Let's give it a go. Oh there I am right at the front. Bravo team. Manning it. Stick together, team. Alright. Let's find some frickin' enemies. Um, now, this is, of course, Clash, so there's no objective to kind of draw the enemy into and have them stand still on. So, whoa, okay. Uh, crap, crap, crap. Quick reload, because this, this thing just has no... Oh, God! Oh, my God goodness the rate of fire isn't even that good I don't know if you saw that let's just try look at the rate of fire that is not good oh hello hello <laughs> what do you think he was doing what a nutter oh crap he's <laughs> like like aiming a sniper rifle at my face oh he's nearly dead we got this oh crap no I'm dead oh are you kidding me I haven't played this map. What? Why are there three of us? We're going to get slaughtered, even with me on top of my game. And I'm not on top of my game right now. Uh, oh, come on, enemies. Let's get a kill. Come on, boys and girls. Come on, everyone. Help me out here. Oh, crap, I'm being followed. I'm pretty certain I'm being followed. Yep. Yeah. Oh, God. Ah, oh, it's just, it's awful. Zombie guy. Just, yeah. I mean, I'm not, uh, uh, yeah. Like, this gun is, ah, oh, it's just total crap. I mean, it looks, looks alright. Jesus. What the? Uh, like, it's no, uh, hang on. It's got to be, ah, uh, it's got to be something to do with the aiming to get it to work. Let's try this. See? Okay. See, now, that was alright. That was pretty good. Uh, oh, crap. Where'd he go? There he is. Escape. Aim for the face. Aim for the face. Aim for the face. Oh, wow. I blew. Nice. That was a pretty good kill. Um, yeah, narrow escape. My ass, mate. Um, oh, crap. The aiming is just terrible, though. It's got no stability. Thousand yard stare. Christ. Okay, we're going to really F these mothers up. Come on, you mother. Take these bullets in the back of your brain box. Oh, crap. Okay, no, someone else can man mode that guy because I am not going to do it. Oh, we've got some more We've got some more teammates. That's that's pretty good. Oh, God. There's a lot of them out there. Conspiracy Theory D. It's like Tenacious D's brother band. Right, come on. I don't really know what to compare this gun to. It's kind of... like It feels heavy. It's definitely not. 
and you've got to aim down the sights to do any decent amount of damage with it. It's kind of like a World War II gun. Uh, it's, you know, and it's it's highly inaccurate. My God, it's highly inaccurate. Like, you're just Quillen's Terminus. Tell me everyone else finds that as hilarious as I do. <laughs> Quillen. <laughs> Who the hell's Quillen? Um, what the hell am I trying to say about this gun? It's, I mean, I said this about the bloody Hake Trout shotgun thing. Oh, God. See, the shotgun would have destroyed him. But not this gun. This gun's just atrocious. Although, although, saying that, I should have gotten a kill there. I'm almost certain. Okay. Uh, has an active runner in Rift. Right, okay. Sorry, I'm just like, minding, you know, minding what the hell's going on with quests. Oh, he should be dead. Yes, he is dead. Because it's slow. It's because it's so slow to fire. But if you're aiming, the shots are a lot more effective. So, it's I don't know. It's like a gentleman's weapon. That's what that's what I'd call this. It's like you know, you've got the everyman's weapon that's the, that just throws bullets everywhere. You know, the Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo is an everyman's weapon. It throws bullets everywhere, and you're bound to hit your target because you're throwing a billion bullets at its face. You know? It doesn't start, like, you take that thing boar hunting, you are definitely going to kill a boar. But every man can do that. And uh, every man can throw a trip man grenade. Trip mine grenade, sorry. Um, but this thing takes real skill to use because you can't get a kill unless you're staring at your enemy through that sight. Right there, like that. Where is he? Oh, he's dead. I, I need to get more kills. This is atrocious. This is truly terrible. Look, see? You just can't. You've got to stare down your enemy. You've just got to stare death in the face and blast it, blast it with the gun, because there's no, there's no other way around it. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop a cheeky super. Boosh. Uh, whoa. Yeah, sucks to be you, mate. <laughs> He's still tethered. He's right there. Like you are not hiding. Oh God. Warlock me lead me. Yeah, this gun. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. I I feel awkward using it because it's so bad. But it it it's just because I uh, it's. So what's it like? It's um it's like so the Uncharted collection came out right. Um. Oh no, sorry. A better example. Tony Hawk Pro Skater came out right. The five. Uh, Pro, Pro Skater Five came out. And people started playing it, and they couldn't play it because they, they're no longer 12 in school and play it every day. They have jobs, and they have to play games for, you know, for fun, and they don't play Pro Skater because it's really old. Um, and the controls haven't changed from Pro Skater 5, you know, there's, there's some subtle differences. But largely, it's the same game as Pro Skater 2. And that's that's not a very good game for controls. It's not intuitive. Jesus, this gun is terrible. Um, five minutes, die, you piece of trash. Oh, it's gun. And, oh, well, there we go. I did it somehow. Um, and it's, it's, when you pick it up, you know, you're, you're bad with it. But that's because you don't know how to use it. Because you've not used it for a while. Then this, this is... This isn't a gun you've not used for a while. This is just a gun you don't know how to use full stop because you have to aim down the sights to do more damage. You're being forced to not hip fire, and that's really weird in a game where you largely rely on hip fire with most guns. Uh, and you know, especially auto rifles. It's kind of the name of the game. You just bl plow like that and uh, hope that you hit your target. It's so. It's in short. It's like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Five. It's it's only terrible because you don't know how to use it because you've not you've not ah oh crap you've not done that kind of gaming before uh, or no sorry recently it's it's this gun that you just don't I don't know you just you just need to spend some time with uh, to get some kills with that's what I feel this gun is. So it's it's a bit of a hard time, but you feel satisfied when you get a kill. Like that, you just feel really satisfied <laughs> because they drop dead in front of you. 
Like, check that out. Like, that felt really good. Zombie guy, he's the first guy who killed me. That felt really good because I worked for that kill. I don't think there's anything more to say about this gun, to be honest. That's that's it. I'm going to sit down. I'm out. I'm out. It's Pro Skater 2. That's what this gun is. Well, there we have it, guys. That has been the Hake Test A Auto Rifle. Uh, it's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 in a gun. You you just need to learn how to use it, and then you get it. And right at the end of that match, I got it. But otherwise, I just didn't get it. That gun is awful to begin with. Um, personally, I wouldn't recommend it unless you really like No Land Beyond, because that's this. Th that that's this gun here is the auto rifle version of that exotic sniper rifle. So No Land Beyond players, this is for you. <laughs> uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. Please keep liking, please keep subscribing, and I will keep putting these out every week. Uh, it looks like it's only one new gun over the last couple of weeks. Um, that is in each week, it's just been one new gun. But I'll keep putting them out there, um, and you guys keep watching them. Right, see you next time, guys.